Welcome to this week's episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Well, welcome to another episode of Jim and Java. I'm always excited to provide you with answers to your questions. And I just can't thank you enough for submitting questions to us and being out there to address these very difficult issues that you might have or just some things that you're curious about. Don't feel uh, a question is too basic, too simple, too... Um, to, to even foolish uh, to ask a question. Uh, I enjoy each and every question that you have. Some of you are very new to development. Some of you aren't even development officers. You may be an executive director or a leader of a nonprofit organization and are just interested in these questions. But some of you may be seasoned veterans. And if you've got questions, I'm happy to address those as well too. Let's dive right into our first question of the day today. Our first question is from Jeff in Denver, Colorado. And Jeff asks, I hear that the average life of a person in fundraising and development is just 18 months. Why so short? Well, Jeff, that's a great question. And uh, it's in the 38 years that I have been in development and fundraising, uh, I've heard that statistic over the years. And it did make me cringe a little bit in the very beginning when I started thinking that, wow, am I venturing into something that is not going to be long lasting, is going to be short lived. And I was concerned about that myself. And if you are new to fundraising or development and you hear that statistic, it may scare you as well too. But it also just might make you curious as to why it's such a short period of time. And my belief over the years, and, and I have been so blessed over the years to have mentors, colleagues, bosses who have really worked with me and planted the seeds so that my career has been a long career in development and not short-lived. Uh, I have received the proper motivation, training, encouragement, and I believe I was really set and, and put down in a journey down the right path to understanding development and the proper perspective. And so that really comes back to uh, why, why I believe there is an issue. First of all, I want to start with the difference between development and fundraising very briefly. Because I've always said that if I was just in fundraising, if all I was interested in was getting into someone's pocketbook or just interested in the bottom line, or if our organization or my bosses were just interested in the bottom line, I don't think I would have lasted more than 18 months. But I had the seeds planted very early that development is a journey it's a process it's not an end result getting a gift or getting a donation or money from people is not the be all or end all of any organization and we need to be thinking more about friend raising than fundraising friend raising is focusing in on developing a long-term relationship with people and at the end of that journey or along the pathway, we will get gifts from individuals. And that will continue to motivate and encourage us, and hopefully it will encourage our donors or our partners. But if all we were interested in was just getting money and then moving on in the relationship, we wouldn't be satisfied and the partners certainly wouldn't be satisfied. So those are some important elements and some important items to understand in the process. I've always said that if all it, this was was about fundraising, then I would get up every morning, pick up some M&Ms or cookies and go door to door to try and gifts, get gifts from people and or have a car wash or have an auction and get gifts from people but I would care nothing about relationships. By nature, I'm a people-oriented person. I like relationships. I love the, the ability to go deep with someone, to share their successes, share their hurts, their sorrow, their grief. 
I will pray with people at times uh, along the process. And I want people to know that I have a genuine interest in who they are. I am concerned with how they spend their money in the sense that I want to make sure that the gifts they give are effective and that that money is being used exactly where it's intended to be used. But I also believe that if someone has a desire or a heart or a passion for something that I can't do with our organization, I'm going to find them an organization where their heart and their mission and their passion is achieved. So to me, I'm going to do everything that I possibly can to make sure that the passions and all the desires are, are fulfilled. And if that's with another organization, that's okay with me because I've found that over the years, if I help someone else achieve their goals, ultimately our goals are going to be achieved as well too. Now, I also believe that there are other factors in why people don't last a long time in development. And it can be a wide variety of reasons, but a lot of times it's misconceptions or misfilled uh, expectations. The expectations generally with most leaders of nonprofit organizations is big, easy, fast. You need to get a big gift. You need to get it in uh, in a, in a easy manner, not a lot of work involved, and that money needs to come quickly. And I can tell you that development is anything but big, easy, and fast. In fact, it takes a lot of work. In fact, I've found it's very ironic that it takes that the life expectancy of a development person is 18 months because it generally takes two years to really start to see gifts develop from relationships with people. Relationships don't just happen overnight. You don't just meet with someone and have a deep, meaningful relationship. I often liken it to dating. You don't meet someone and all of a sudden have a deep relationship. It takes time. It takes effort. It's a process to go deep with someone. And it's especially the same with our, our donors or our partners. And it takes time to get a first or a major gift from someone. And surprisingly, just about the time that a relationship is starting to bloom or blossom with a major donor is about the time that an organization will release or fire a development person. If the expectation is that you're going to get a gift quickly or that you're going to pay for your salary in a year or that you are going to all of a sudden turn around a failing organization, one that is struggling financially, if the expectation is for that to happen, then you are only going to last 18 months in development. But if they have an understanding, if leadership has an understanding that building relationships takes time, that it takes effort, it takes energy, and that big gifts don't come immediately, sometimes even the largest donors will start with small test gifts to see how you use that money. And if that is generally where people are coming from, if the expectation is on one end and reality is on the other, the two are not going to meet unless there's some kind of a bridge in between that changes or alters the expectation. So those seem to be some of the biggest things that really cause frustration and cause or lead to a short-term either relationship with an organization or a short-term career for someone in development. It, it is a lack of understanding or a lack of reality on what it takes to really build and to grow a meaningful and lasting relationship. I was given a lot of latitude and I tried a lot of things in the beginning and some of those didn't work perfectly, I can tell you that. But I started out learning how to develop relationships with major donors, but also find ways to raise money on the quickly on the short end doing some events that gave me the seed capital and helped with my relationship so that by the time those major donors were ready to give money, we had a little money in the bank, and then that major donor gift 
or major donor gifts were able to springboard and buoy the um, the relationship and the essentially lift the organization as a whole. Um, those things, uh, understanding of the the whole relationship with development and that development is a long term process. All those things uh, were what saved me in development. So Jeff, I hope that answered your question. And if others have questions, would love to hear from you. Go out to Twitter at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java. Watch us on Instagram at Dev Effectiveness Strategies. And also watch Thursday Tips from Jim, Thursday Morning Tips, uh, our movie fundraising and films on Wednesday, and of course, our tips, uh, weekly tips on Monday. All those are on Instagram. If you enjoy what you hear and have learned from this video, consider subscribing. We found that 70% of people who watch regularly enjoy don't subscribe. I'd ask you to subscribe, and if you do me a favor, please click the subscribe button below so that we can get this out. The more subscribers mean more people watch. The more people watch mean that we ha build a bigger community and that more and more people will add input to this and we'll see a greater win. So until next week, we are here and strive to help you increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. See you next week and watch the next video.